because nothing says independence like glitter. It's Bailey from Making It From Midwest, and today I have a 4th of July tutorial for you. I was actually planning on doing something else today, more of a beach-inspired thing, but I figured the 4th is tomorrow, or today, as I post this, so why not? It's the one time of the year, right? And it was actually inspired by this Lime Crime Carousel Lip Gloss in Candy Apple, so that's what this is all about. So if you'd like to see how to achieve this look, please continue watching. So I'm going in with this Smashbox Limited 15 Hour Wear Cream Shadow. This is in the shade Quartz, and it's really just a subdued kind of pinky nude color. I just am using it one for a base and two to just because I wanted something besides a bare eyeball. So I'm putting that all over the moving portion of my lid, not bringing it up at all, just keeping it sticking to the inner corner all the way to the outer corner. Now taking NYX's eyeshadow base, and this is just the white one that I am using here and an angled brush, I'm going to start drawing out the wing shape. Now I'm taking my Bedellium pencil brush, which is the 716, and TG's mixing medium, it's like, uh, what is it called, this liquid enhancer, and Max Pigment in, what is it called, navel blue, and I am wetting my brush and basically going on the inner third of my eye. This is very basic, it's very intuitive, it's going to be red, white, and blue, so that's all I'm doing. So just placing it on that white, and that's really why we laid the white down, was to help the blue stand out. Well, the col any color we're putting down stand out. Then taking that same pencil brush and the same liquid enhancer, I'm going in with Inglot's um, AMC eyeshadow in 50, which is just a true red with gold sparkle in it, and I am running that through there. I'm not entirely sure if these are supposed to be used wet, but I do want this to be a really bold color. So as you can see, I am just using the wet on one side. That way, if I really hose up this eyeshadow, it's only that tiny sliver, so it's okay. Um, and then I'm just running that on the outer um, third, including the wing part of this eyeliner. And then I almost forgot that I also placed a little bit of that blue, that navel blue, on the outer, um, outer lower lash line. That is what I'm trying to get out of this, is just to give it a little bit of definition, because I wasn't quite sure what to do in the lower lash line, but that really just provided kind of the definition I needed there. I'm finishing up everything with the lashes, and I'm using this Dior Show Extase, which I got in a birch box, and I didn't, um, I wasn't sure if I'd use it in a video or not, so I figured I'd use it now so you can see kind of the before and after effects of everything. All right, now let's zoom out and do the face. Okay, so on my face, I started off with my Garnier Skin Renew Anti-Dark Circle Roller thing on my under eye area. Then I have my Inglot AMC Cream Foundation mixed with the Jouer Sheer Bronzing Tint, which is actually a tinted moisturizer, and it's a little bit darker. I noticed that in my last video, I was kind of casting a little white compared to my chest, because I had been on vacation and I hadn't gotten a foundation to match, so I just used one that I had and this tinted moisturizer that I had. So I mixed those together, that's what's on my face. So on the face, I'm keeping it natural and going in with Laura Mercier's Second Skin Cheek Color in Honey Mocha. And I'm doing that because you'll see what I'm going to do on the lips. Now for the lips, and really what inspired this whole look. On the lips, I started off, I've had this on the whole time I've been doing this tutorial, is Dr. Brandt's Lineless Lines No More for Lips. I was just trying it out, kind of as a primer slash moisturizer, and it says it's a plumper, a filler and volumizer, so that can't hurt. Then for the actual lip color I'm wearing on my lips, it is Lime Crimes Carousel Gloss. This color is Candy Apple, and even though this is the only color I have in this line, I would buy every color. They are so, they're like a liquid lipstick. They're so opaque, they stay for so long, and this particular one has red glitter in it. If that's not patriotic, I don't know what it is, folks. So that's what I'm putting on my lips.
All right, that is it for my kind of spur of the moment, 4th of July look. I hope you enjoyed that. Please subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.